What's up guys? Check this out. We were at Walmart and I thought that this would be really cool to share with you guys. It's actually s'mores cup noodles. Limited edition. But let me show you what they look like when they're all stacked up. Okay, my wife's purse. <laughs> but let me show you what it looked like on the shelf. I thought it was pretty crazy because we got campfire s'mores flavored ramen noodles. Well, cup noodles. Look at them. Kind of weird, no? Yeah, we're passing them by. My wife pointed them out, and I was like, "What the heck?" Cup noodles, campfire s'mores, all natural, an artificial flavor. I think that's pretty crazy. I don't know. I have to give them a try. I'm gonna buy them, head back to the house, and we'll give them a taste test, guys. Okay, guys, I bought the cup noodles right here. And what's crazy is that they're campfire s'mores cup noodles. Now, I'm kind of wondering how they're gonna taste. I'm hoping they don't taste sweet. Who knows, maybe they'd be, I don't know, best cup noodles in the world, I guess, I don't know. But like you guys can see, it is saying right there that they are a limited edition. Um, there was quite a bit of these missing. When I bought this, there was a couple box empty already. There was a couple more. I don't know how much longer they're gonna sell these for, but I might grab some more when I go to Walmart if they're good. But let's go ahead and crack this sucker open, put water in it, and give it a taste test. Stay tuned. Okay, now I know about the whole thing about not boiling your uh, cup noodles, but this isn't styrofoam. I guess it says right here that you can go ahead and just throw water in it. It says remove lid, add room temperature water, cook it, place in the microwave center for three minutes high. Slurp away. So I'm not worried about that whole styrofoam thing because I guess it's like their newer cup where you can boil it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. Okay, s'mores. Open it up, add water. Dang, oh, check it out. Marshmallows in there. They put marshmallows in there instead of vegetables. That's what's crazy. Look at it. Oh, there's marshmallows in there. Look at that marshmallows. It's crazy. Okay. Three minutes. It says throw it in there for three minutes. So we're going to throw it in there for three minutes. Three minutes it is. Okay. Now, putting the little marshmallows in there because they used to have like little vegetables in there, that's what's kind of like. I don't know. Me and Matt thought it's pretty crazy that they put marshmallows in there instead of vegetables. Three minutes. I'm wondering if they're a real type of marshmallow or if they're like some type of marshmallow that they just made so that way they don't dissolve in the water. Cause I know when you put marshmallows in hot cocoa for too long, it'll actually dissolve them away. But hopefully the marshmallows kind of stay there. They're the dehydrated marshmallows. What did you find like the hot cocoa? Oh packets? yeah. So Matthew thinks they're the dehydrated marshmallows the ones that come in the hot cocoa packet probably 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 that's probably what they are we're about two minutes into cooking it and you can already smell it it already smells like uh like a regular ramen noodle regular cup noodle i know ramen noodles are a little bit different but it kind of already smells like oh no i kind of smell like a little like a little bit of sweet, sweet like yeah. chocolate kind of like yeah. a chocolate smell to it as it's cooking but uh let's get out of the microwave Give it a couple seconds to cool down and we're gonna test it. We got it in the microwave, we let it cool down for a minute. Um, we got the chopsticks right here with it. Um, campfire s'mores, go ahead and taste it. Let you guys know what I think about it. Let me see. Hmm, it's still kinda hot. It's still kinda hot. One thing I did notice though, when we got it in the microwave and I did open it, the marshmallows, the little marshmallows that are like on here, they were in there, but they, like I said, like I was saying in the video, I think that they were just gonna dissolve right away. And um, they dissolve pretty away. Matthew says he wants to give a, a try. I wouldn't say that it's too good. I wouldn't eat these like for lunch or like for a quick snack. They're just not good. And I'd probably, like I said before, it's probably like a five out of 10. They're weird. They're cool, they're probably something you wanna buy, put on your shop and not really do anything with it just cause they're limited edition. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat them all the time. I wouldn't buy like a whole box of them or nothing like that. 
It's pretty weird. What do you think about it, Matthew? Mm -hmm. No, they're like too sweet. They're way too sweet. That's because you think it's gonna be like ramen. And I guess you could say that they do kind of, I say they would probably most like, you kind of taste the, no, the s'mores in there. You can kind of yeah. taste the s'mores in there, but I don't know, I just wouldn't buy it. I just wouldn't buy it just to eat. And I thought these were pretty crazy. I thought these were weird. Make a video, share this with you guys, and my thoughts and everything. Mm -mm. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them. To you. They're cool though. Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty cool like thing that they did. A little experiment, limited edition. I don't know if you're supposed to eat these, honestly. Maybe just collect them. I don't know if you're a person that collects noodles. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend buying these and eating them. You could try them just for fun or like a little gag gift, but I wouldn't. And we got the, we got the marachan up there. But yeah, guys, thought I'd share it with you guys, let you guys know what I thought about it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, hope you guys go out and try these. It's kind of cool just for fun. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.